Hey guys, it's Kelsey here. Now, I know I haven't made a whole lot of videos in like these past months. I think my last video was like maybe two months ago. But I am determined now, more than ever, because it's fall time. Fall time. Fall time is when it's getting super cold out and you can't walk outside without like, like, a sweatshirt and a jacket and jeans and shoes and I hate this kind of month so I mostly love lighting candles autumn leaves Yankee candle yummy or my favorite other candle right now is pumpkin pie now you don't know if you don't know me I love candles. Wow, that's really strong. Okay. <laughs> if you don't know me, I love candles. And my candles, like, candles are like my babies. They, if they don't, if they burn out, I have to go buy a new one. Like, it's just, it's just inevitable. But anyway, this isn't what my video is about. <laughs> but that is an update on me. But, no, the real excuse is my mom got sick was in the hospital for a pretty long time. Um, of course, trying to look for a job and, of course, talking to my boyfriend and stuff like that because, of course, you guys know that, yeah, he is still trying to come over here and is really getting annoying, but whatever. I As long as I get to talk to him, which a lot of people don't get to talk to. So, yeah, I'm excited. But anyway... I am here because I finally finished a book. The House of Dark Shadows. Now this is actually this was actually a really good book. Uh, in the beginning it was kinda like, oh god, this is gonna be a horrible book, you know. Uh-huh. It was gonna be one of those books. I was just gonna throw it across the room and forget about it. But actually, I read this book. And it actually isn't that bad. And there's a trilogy of these. There's three of these people. Three of these books right now. I don't know if there's going to be a fourth. But literally there are three of these right now. So definitely going to read them. Um, but anyway, it is about when the kings moved from L.A. The kings are their last name. Uh, moved to L.A. to a secluded small town, 15-year-old Xander is beyond disappointed. He and his friends love to create amateur films, but the tiny town of Pinedale is the last place a movie buff and future filmmaker wants to land. But he, David and Toria, his brother and sister, are captivated by the many rooms in the old Victorian fixer-upper they moved into, as well as the heavy woods surrounding the house. They soon discover there's something odd about the house. Sounds come from different directions. Pr prints of giant bare feet appear in the dust, and when David tries to hide in the linen closet, he winds up in locker 119 at his new school. Then the really weird stuff kicks in. They find a hidden hallway with portals leading to far-off places in long-ago times. Xander is starting to wonder if this kind of travel is a teen's dream come true or his worst nightmare. Now, I won't spoil anything, but it actually has a pretty good ending. Um, a lot of, like, I think books should have a really good ending. You know, that's just me. And if it doesn't live up to what the book was really, then it's just a disappointing book. But actually, I give this book 5 out of 5 stars. Maybe, no, maybe 4. Just because it was it was kind of bad in the beginning, but then it kind of lived up a little bit. So, definitely, um, this is where the creepy, um, I love kind of mystery horror books. Um, but yeah, definitely a really good book, I gotta say. I can't really say anything, because if I say anything, it's just gonna spoil it, because literally every chapter is just more spoil <laughs> alerts than the other, so. But definitely go and pick this up at your local library. I'm sure it's there, so go pick it up at your local library, because it is awesome. I think it just came out, like, I don't know, I can't remember. But yeah, really good. There's three of these books, so definitely go and go, go and read them. 
Um, but anyway, I think that's it. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, and my cactus is dying. <laughs> my cactus was dying. Well, actually, I brought it back inside because what happens is when cactuses are out in the cold, they, they die. And they need warm, so I brought him back inside for the winter or fall or whatever, and it's blooming again. Yay! I love when it blooms. It has a little flower on it. It's adorable. You want to get to see it? You want to see it? All right. I love my cactus. It's really cute. It doesn't smell like anything, though. That's what sucks. But actually, these are really good. Actually, I gotta say, these are really good plants if you want to, like, have a plant that you don't need to really take care of. Dude, these only need to be watered at least, like, once a month. Like, just set a calendar to give them, like, a little bit of water once a month. Dude, you'll be set. It is fantastic. I'm totally not making this movie, this this video about anything except candles and fall and cactuses, not a book, but still. But still, really good. <coughs> I'm gonna drop it. Oh, okay, I didn't drop it, but that was a really big bang. But anyway, definitely, get this book, I definitely recommend it. Um, definitely a really good book to read on your downtime, maybe if you're in school, bored, um, especially show it to, like, your, your horror, um, like, mystery kind of friends, people that love to read these kind of books, they'll definitely enjoy it. I am one of those people, I love mysteries, I love, I love mysteries, horror, comedy, romance, I love any kind of book, as long as it's pretty good and has a good plot line, I love reading, so... <laughs> Definitely go pick this up. Um, I am working on another book right now. Actually, I'm almost halfway through it. So hopefully I'll have something out for you guys maybe in the next two weeks or so. So I will see you guys then. Bye!